Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, thank you, Lord God, for another day, God, you have made, God. And Father God, we will rejoice today, God, no matter what the circumstances or situation arrives, God. And Father God, I bring forth your word today, God, to give you glory and honor in, in Jesus' name, God. Father God, as I decrease, O oh God, you do the increase in me, O oh God. And Father God, bless every listener, O oh God, on the sound of my voice, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. God told me to encourage his people. Praise God. And my message is to be encouraged. Psalms 31 and 24 says, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. Praise God. All those who are affected by the coronavirus and death and job loss, put your hope in the Lord. For God said he will strengthen your heart. Praise God. God loves you, praise God. God's love is steadfast and unchanging. God's love, God love comforts us. Praise God. I love God. And he love us. Psalms 36 and 7 says, How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. Therefore the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. So be encouraged in this time that we are in. Praise God. And be not afraid, or don't fear, praise God. Because the word of God says in 2 Timothy 1 and, 1 and 7 says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of, po but of power. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. But of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Fear is a spirit that, that, God, that, that God gives us power over. Praise God. Let me say that again. Fear is a spirit that God give us power over. Praise God. 1 Peter 5 and 7 said, Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Isaiah 41 and 10 says, Praise God. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. And I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Praise God. Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Let me repeat that. Proverbs 18 and 10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. God is so good, praise God. See, only God can help us in this time we are in now. The government are scratching their heads about this coronavirus. The doctors are puzzled. Praise God. But spend this time to, to know God more. Spend this time to know God more. Stay in God's presence. Listen for his voice and in his, in his instructions. Praise God. And God will protect you. Praise God. Psalms 100, chapter 121 and 7 says in the NIV, Said the Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. In the eighth verse of the same chapter, praise God says, The Lord will watch over your coming and your boat and, and your going. Praise God. Both now and forevermore. Let me say that again. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going. Both now and 
and forevermore. Psalm chapter 32, verse 7 in the NIV. He says, you are, you are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Thank you, Lord. God is a good God. Praise God. Saying, don't worry about everything you feel and see right now concerning coronavirus and death and job loss. All these may seem bad right now, but it's going to work out for your good. Praise God. You know, the Bible says this is the beginning of sorrow. Praise God. And we must trust God. Thank you, Jesus. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. We have no, we have, right now, we have no choice but trust God because the government can't help us. Doctors can't help us. So we have, no choice, we have no choice but to trust God. And the word of God said, lean not unto thy own understanding. I want to tell you a, a brief testimony, praise, my personal testimony. <clears throat> I was a person who didn't trust God with all my heart. And I lean, I had leaned onto my own understanding by running to man every time something goes wrong. But praise God, God had a remedy for that. Praise God. The Bible said, don't put your trust in man. But God had a remedy, to, he had a remedy for me running to man every time things went wrong. In 2008, when the economy had crashed, praise God, my wife got laid off her job and my business contracts had ended. So I panicked and I called everyone I knew for help or I know for help. But God had closed every door. Let me say it again. So I panicked and I called everyone I know for help. But God had closed every door. See, panic, panic is like riding a roller coaster. You, you, you don't have no control of it. It takes you up hills and down hills and around sharp curbs at fast speeds. That's how I felt when I lost my job. I mean, my, my, my business contract. My wife got laid off her job. We had no income coming in. So I panicked. That's how I felt. Life, life is taking me up, up a hill. Life is taking me down hills and wrong curves at, at, at fast speed. And no one was there to help me but God. So my wife and I became homeless and we were in our car in the Walmart parking lot. You know, sometimes God will allow bad things to happen to you to get your attention first. And it, and it, and it could be for your, your, for your elevation in God and also to shift you into your next position in him. Praise God. And once we and once we completed that process, God did bless and restore. See, nobody don't want to go through the process. Praise God. But being homeless made us strong in our faith. And this scripture here became more real to me, to me and my wife. It is Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Say, now unto him that is able. If you are homeless, if you are sick, if you are jobless, God is able. Say, God is able to do exceeding, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we 
ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. Praise God. God is able. God was able during that time when we was homeless, praise God. And that process, that process that, that we were in were not easy. Praise God. If you ask me what good came out of this bad situation, let me say it again. If you ask me what good came out of this bad situation, I will tell you. I learned to trust God and lean not to my own understanding. Praise God. I learned no matter what, how it looks or how it feels, I, I would trust God. Praise God. And I learned to depend on God. And I know that God is a way maker. Because when we, when we was homeless, God made a way. He was our way maker. He provided for us. That's my next one. And I know God is a provider. It's like it's rooted and embedded in, in us right now. Praise God. And I know God is the deliverer. And I learned to put God first. And my, and our, my faith and our faith hath increased in God. Hebrews 11, chapter verse 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek God, seek him. Praise God. And all that we went through, it was meant for evil, but God use it for his good. So be encouraged. Praise God.